Can I sense that the skeleton is undead? You want to use another divine sense? No, not really. I thought the last one might still be affected. Effective. Digitale died, by the way. It's just his laptop shut down. Except that he's here. Well, I mean, he's on Discord. He's um he's probably using his phone. That's how I do it when uh, my com I'm not at my computer. Well, anyways, it's the last questions. You guys had a question. So it was just a skeleton with a purse. So I want to steal his purse and see if it comes alive. You steal his purse. He does not come alive. The purse has fifty gold in it. Nice. Okay. I'll add that to the pile. Anything else in the room? No. Stare directly at the skeleton. Next. <laughs> Let's open the next one. Okay. So Which one is the next one. one? I think it's this one. No, no, it's under Vance. It's on the one right next to Vu. Vu. No. This one? Or Vance's? Where's the, yeah, there. Yeah, that one. Okay, I'll open it. Open. Move it over here. I look inside from far away. Uh, hold on, let's see. Where are you guys? Uh, that door, I mean, that uh, slab had the word uh, Corton written on it. Uh, there don't appears to be only a few bony uh, fragments bearing the marks of uh, rat's teeth all over them. Uh, there are four gems scattered about the, uh, the tomb. Okay, I picked the gems up. Wait. Okay, you do that. No, go ahead. Get bit by a rat. I don't care. They usually Rats don't hurt me. Disease, so unless there's a horde of them. I'll appraise these later. Our guy who cures disease is dead. You might not want to get a disease right now. <sighs> disease. That's not that's not a big problem. And then you okay, then let's open slime. the one across it. Across. This all right. Oh shit! There's thirty trolls in there. No, I just selected <laughs> the wrong thing for a second. I got all the walls, all my vision blocking layers. Uh, let's see. This one has the word Yaldros carved into it. Uh, actually, sorry, this is something I should have done before. In my haste, I kind of ruined it. This one actually was already open. The uh, slab lies broken in pieces on the floor and you would be able to see Eldros uh, inscribed into one of the pieces. The uh, bones inside the uh, tomb have been violently scattered across it. Hmm. Sorry, my computer shut down. Sounds like somebody didn't like this guy. All cool, dude. Sounds like somebody was eating him. Well, like hold on a second. The ghast, what, 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 the ghast was in a closed tomb. Did the tomb, okay, actually looking at the gases too, were there claw marks on the other sides, like where there was opened, or like signs of opening and closing? No. Okay, so it was sealed. That means something other than the gas was moving around, potentially. Maybe the two people that are dead in the other room. I don't know, maybe somebody just hated this guy really bad and fucked up his tomb before... After yeah, he was no. dead. Let's open the next one. It was just some punk ass kids. The one next to me? Yep. Take the Maros. The one next to Maros. We found some more gems, that's pretty much it, did you tell me? Ah, uh, sorry, one cool. sec. I mean, it's possible that the thing that we're looking for is not here, but. Where are we at? Uh, one south or one to the uh, east? One south of Vance. So, Vance of Vance, okay. We'll go left, right. Tell you, making right. these uh, vision layers thin was the biggest mistake I've made. I think, Riff, you mm -hmm. find the skeleton of a kobold. There we go. Uh, let's see. Uh, the one here has the words Mar uh, Wartesh carved into it. Uh, you see, there are a number of. Uh, 
broken pots, uh, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Here? Broken pots laid out amongst the, uh, the niches of the, uh, the tomb. Piled amongst the, uh, fragments, you'll be able to find a hundred gold pieces and, uh, fifty copper pieces. Nice. Just put that in the loot, we'll separate it later. Plus, we gotta pay a ton. Oh, I wasn't listening, sorry. What was it? <laughs> No, you I, didn't hear. You don't get it. 100 gold pieces, some copper, and I think what, it was like 12 silver pieces? Nope, you just made all of that up. It's 100 gold pieces and 50 copper pieces. There were no okay. silver pieces. So the 100 okay. gold was all made up. All right. Yes, you made it up. Kill Vance. The GM demands it. gold, 50 copper. Oh, I, found, I found the name that we're supposed to look for, though. I just realized. Let's open up this tomb. What name is that? I think it's Clarsh. Let's see. Da, 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 da. On that. Uh, on that uh, slab, as you're moving it, you can see the slab show signs of having been uh, tampered with. Oh, hold on. I'm. <laughs> if I notice that, can I like? Fucking just like drop it and like try to move away. Uh, you drop it and it smashes on the floor. Uh, before you dropped it, you saw the uh, word uh, Burnix uh, carved onto it. It smashes on the floor and there is nothing but uh, like like uh, the same thing in the one that was above it. A skeleton that's been like violently scattered about the room. I was really worried there was like just like a spring trap in there or something. Well, I can assure you that violently dropping the slab to the floor would not have saved you. <laughs> That's not how traps work. No, I was just gonna just fucking try to dodge out of the way. There's still more, right? Like, still more... Yeah, there was yeah, 14 there's of these things. Total. Like, they're separated like five feet apart. Alright, I open this one. You can detect the pattern, as you can see on the map. Everybody should be eating, or like, like cautious. Uh, let's see, on this one, the word Septurn is uh, carved into the door. As you move the slab, you can see that uh, there is a, a female form uh, rotting away at the back corner, wearing a, a elaborate robe, which seems to have withstood the passage of time better than the uh, corpse that's sort of wrapped around. Yeah, I, I unclothe the uh, uh, take the uh, the robe off. Okay, you're now naked. Now, what do you want to do? Her, her robe, not mine. Be more descriptive. I said I take the robe off. Mm, my uh, my brain needs me to be more descriptive. Uh, I'm wearing <laughs> chainmail, not a robe. A robe of chain. Gotcha. Smartass. Yep. I like to believe that everybody's just arguing with their inner self. <laughs> That's happening. Yeah, that is surely arguing with himself. But yeah, I take the robe and um, ask if anyone can figure out what this robe is. Sure, I'll take it. I'm I'm a super intelligent person. I don't know that. that check. I know what it is. It's free loot. <laughs> yeah, it's free loot. <laughs> Who Can says that one? Can I check? It's uh, Rurik. Yeah, I just like toss it to Rurik and then head over to the next one. Technically, and open doing... it. Hey, uh, Theta, technically what we're doing is desecration, correct? Yeah. Okay, yeah, just wanted to make sure. I'm sure if it's in. Well, I'm sure if any of them mind robbing your graves, they'll, they'll step up and tell you. Yeah, I'm no. I mean, I wow. don't. I mean... Was, was Griff incredibly allowed to anybody else? Yeah. Yeah, he yeah, he's been doing that for like two weeks now. I just want to make sure before I, so I don't turn him Wait, down really? out, of, out of turn. So yeah, we, we did that whole uh, sound check thing, but at the same time, I did lose all those settings when I just powered down for no reason. Oops. Um. I didn't yeah, see any didn't... Arcana check or anything. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I, uh, I'm rolling. There you go, five. Uh, As you can see, I'm nothing. especially good at magic. 
Uh, you open the next uh, slab. You see uh, Celtine is uh, written on the uh, on the uh, slab, but only ashes remain inside. Oh dear. Mm, I guess this one burned. That god was like an evil god, like the evil god out there, right? I remember correctly. And and uh, as soon as I noticed that, I just like okay, next, and open this one. Yeah, it would be Npure is carved onto that uh, ceiling slab. Uh, there is a skeleton uh, laid on the floor, clutching a uh, small box. Ooh, careful! That box might be cursed. Actually, it might be evil too. All right. Uh, so he's clutching the box. Yes. The box is on the ground, right? It's in his hands, on his chest. Okay, I w I'm gonna use my lance to pry out of his hands and then put put it to the hall we're in. How exactly are you using a lance to pry a box out of somebody's hands? Leverage. I don't think lance is no, uh, no. You you can knock the box to the floor, but you're not gonna pick it up out of somebody's hands with a lance. No, I didn't. I didn't say pick it up. I said I was gonna leverage it of his hand basically like basically poking it and then it falls out of his hand and then it's just Okay, here here's it. here's the thing. I'm going to need you to make a DC 10 uh ex yeah, DC 10 dexterity saving throw for the box. Okay. All right, the box tips over out of his hands, it, it hits the floor and you hear what sounds like glass breaking. Eh, next a red liquid oozes out of the box. Okay, I'm gonna look at the red liquid. Yeah, I'm just Is like doing anything. No. Oh, that was probably a healing potion or some kind of potion in there. I'm gonna do an investigation check real quick. On what? Just the room with the red ooze. It was probably a potion. Yeah, your investigation determines that it was probably a, some sort of healing potion. Or possibly multiple okay. healing potions that smashed into one another when they hit the floor. Bam. I see. Where are we? Uh, this door has Golf the clap. word Golf clap for that one. Cobalt written on it. The uh, the skeleton uh, within looks relatively, you know, uh, was it? What's the word I'm looking for here? Unassuming, Ooh. except for a. Uh, a ring on his finger looks particularly valuable. Sure, let's take it. I I take his. Put it on. Well, uh, since I was the one to open it, I would chop off the finger. It's a skeleton oh, finger. A skeleton. Knock off the finger. With your lance? No, with my Don't sword. I'm not that stupid. Dude, just fucking take the ringer off the finger off the hand. Take his ringer off his finger. <laughs> Fucking take the ring off his fucking hand. Just take it. I don't like touching dead things. All right, I'm gonna just fucking push him out of the way while he's shenanigating and take the ring. Who has the ring? Frodo. Okay, so, like, but who has this ring that's in this room that we are physically sitting in, or standing in? Well, you can give it to me since I'm holding all the shit. Oh well, no, it's just like someone's gonna put it on. I think it should be. Hmm. Hey, Griff, wear this ring. Who's Griff? Oh, sure. I'll immediately put on things. Wait, are you serious? No. Okay. Uh, totally sarcastic. <laughs> uh, let's see. Who was dicking around with the skeleton? Thoradin. Yeah, yo, put this ring on. Yeah, I, I I grab it from you and motion like I'm putting the ring on, and then I flip you off and put it in my pocket. Fuck you. No healing for you. I steal my my health from you back. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, is that the last two, or are there two more? It looks like. Yeah, it's like four more. What are you talking about? Holy shit! Is that? Yeah, I open. I open. 
It's new opening tomes of being losers. So did someone do something with it's the ring? one at a time. Bordor has it in his pocket. Yeah, I pocketed Let's it. Let's see, this okay. one has Quillic written on it. Uh, just seems to be a skeleton laying on the floor. Sexy pose? No. Nope. I mean, sure, if you're into that sort of thing. Draw me like one of your French girls? They, they had, they had No, me. but I mean, if you're into necrophilia, then I guess anybody on the floor is, <laughs> is a sexy pose. Because, I mean... <laughs> I'm just thinking of that It's guy. really dependent. Don't take my word for it. I'm just thinking of that skeleton in Old Londo, or that hollow in Old Londo staring off into the fucking distance. R uh, Rurik, you gonna open yours? Yeah, I'll open this one. Right next to me. Let's see. That one has the name Kurg uh, etched onto it. Uh, there is a skeleton in rotting uh, leather armor uh, laid across the floor. Clutching a mace in his hands. I'll take the mace. Why not? Okay. I'll we'll investigate that later. I'll actually. Can someone else carry it? I'll give it to uh, someone who actually has strength. I have strength. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it to you. You okay. can have it. Mark da -da -da -da. it down. I'll call it the mysterious. I'll call it the question mark mace. There's two more tombs left? Yep. Am I standing in front of one of them? Uh, or are they all the no. way in the back? Marco, Maros is. Oh. Maros, so you want to open the tomb or do you want someone else to do it? Rare. Yeah. Do you want to open the tomb, or do you want someone else to do it? I'll do it. I'll open it up. Okay. Remember, your name is Maros, as far as we know. Mar Maros. We should just sell him to the circus. Alright, uh, on this tomb slab, the name Eldis is carved. There is an ancient-looking skeleton uh, laid across the floor. Uh, you can find amongst its rib bones is a thin golden necklace. Oh, I take that. Yo, put it on. No. Get water breathing. I need um. It gives, you, it gives you water breathing. <laughs> just take and then I investigate the room. That's basically what you find in your investigation. Okay. Yeah, open the door. To the last room. What kind of necklace was it again? Golden. Uh, and this last one on the door is written Kabesh. Uh, basically another one of those um, leather armored skeletons. Uh, he has a uh, scabbard on his right hip. Uh, scabbard's like a uh, sheath to a sword? Yes. Okay, is there a sword in here? No, nope, there is a dagger in it, though. Okay, I'll take it, and... I don't think I want to unsheathe it, though. Yo, Borden, take this dagger. <laughs> uh, I'll just call it the mystery dagger. Question mark dagger. If you really want me to take the dagger, I'll take the dagger. No, I mean, you. I'm holding on to the scabbard. You'd have to pull it out. Unsheathe it. I pull it out with my <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yo, grab my dagger. <laughs> Dang with this. Uh is that it? You guys wanna move on? Oh well, this <laughs> still isn't <laughs> here. <laughs> um can I take a moment just to name. investigate all these myself passively? Sure. Anything he missed. 600 hours later. No, it doesn't take that long. I just to peek in each one real quick. Well, investigation requires actually that you root around and things. So, it is not... Yeah, well, I should have done this behind him then. I apologize. 
Sure. So describe to me exactly what you're doing. Uh, just uh, really just looking, poking around with the staff a little, maybe. No, investigation requires that you actually touch things, move things around, that sort of thing. Perception oh, is sure. perception is the one just passively looking at shit. How long? Uh, I'm just gonna do it passively through the hallway. Anything obviously missed. So then you're so using your perception. Then you're using your twenty yes. perception. Nah, that's fine. Then um, hold on, let me just double check. I think there is one thing. Yeah, you find uh, two platinum pieces in one of the rooms, just hidden away underneath one of the uh, the bodies. Cool. Man, you fucking saw through that body like a fucking That's it. Superman. That's all you find with your 20 passive perception. I right, you know, add two platinum to the pool. Good job. Um, how long did that take? Like five minutes? He said he was doing it behind you the whole time, so... Oh, okay, so just trailed on time. Okay. Um, gotta head back, so make sure we don't sit off the trap. Again. Okie dokie. And remember, it's just like the middle of the room. Just avoid the middle of the room. Uh, do we want to take a short rest? Get some health oh, no. back for some people? We, yeah. Get some slots back for people? We're not get my I second really one back. any of my slots. Well, I meant I get healing back. Yeah, get second win back. Yeah, I, I could use my second one back. And the future will be all over short rest. Oh, oh, never mind. I actually can heal you guys diseases from people by actually spending five of my hit points. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and I do need a long rest to restore my healing pool. Yep, yep. Shit. Well, I guess I we'll just keep going. Rest. My stuff. I'll long arrest you. So y'all are going to take a short rest or a long rest? What's the plan? Depends if the people want to. Doesn't matter if I don't need to. Ben's, how long would Ben since the last long rest? No clue. Uh, we took a long rest in the town at some point. Then we went around, did a couple of things, and then short rested before entering. <clears throat> well, honestly, we should short rest sometime soon. What's down this hallway? Why well, short rest at the uh, entrance or outside of it? No, let's just back off from here. You, what do you guys want to do? Short rest would just heal people up who need it and give back a second win to the fighter. Uh, yeah, long rest. rest. Actually, yeah. I don't even need the long rest. I forgot I didn't spend anything other than my... Uh, we could take a quick little break and that would racial. be <clears throat> I get my racial back from that. Um, what kind of spells do you have, Greg? Uh, I could tell you what they all are. I mean, are they damage dealing or are they like, assistance? Uh, I got Chilled Touch, Press Signation, Minor Illusion, Burning Hand, Ray of Sickness, Mage Armor, Sleep, Identify, and Shield. Oh, okay, we're good then. Forgot about the Sleep spell, that'll be nice. Well, if they're undead, you can't necessarily make them sleep, but, well, I'm no, keeping it track I mean, of it. <clears throat> Like, if, like, for example, we had to fight, like, a shit ton of bats or something, we'd be perfectly fine. Oh, yeah. Or those blood suckers. Those things were a pain in the ass. So you guys want a short rest? Cause... Yeah, it's up to you guys. Yeah, short rest would be all right. Yeah. Do you want to stay down here in the tomb, or do you want to head back up? I mean, like, five feet away, we just say we're coming up for... I don't see why we couldn't climb up the ladder and rest there. Well, we're, we're right at the entrance right now, so. Yeah, let's just head back up, uh, get some fresh air, stretch our legs. And if he asks questions, we'll just say, hey, we, we just came up to, uh, we did quite a, we did considerable amount of uh, 
exploring. We just need to lick our wounds and we'll head back down. Yeah, when you go, when you go back, pack up there. He's he's up there with like the cheetah entourage, but I mean he doesn't ask any questions. He just notes okay. that you're back up and <laughs> we'll make a like, make an obvious camping site near the entrance. For like an hour. That's fine. Not I'll spend deal. some of that time making a map of the areas we explored down below already, and leave that up top. <laughs> For the next okay. party. For the next party when we all inevitably die. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a really smart idea. Um, the shield, you know, um, turtle shield, has it dimmed? Has the light gone away, or is it still there? Yeah, no, after an hour, that's how long the light spell lasts, so after an hour it goes away. I was hoping that Turtle <laughs> Shield would have, uh... Yeah, his spirit was in the shield? No, his magic was in the shield, and his magic is not eternal. I was hoping that his soul would become the magic, that his spirit would lay, stay on with us, and he would give us inspiration. Who had the mace? Yo, I have, uh, Turtle's Mace. I actually want a hand. Not Turtle's Mace, the mace that you looted from the dungeon. <coughs> I also have that mace! That's a uh, mace plus one. Oh, so it's just like turtles. No, turtle didn't own a mace. Turtle was borrowing a mace. Oh, so now we just have that dagger mace. is also a dagger plus one, since I know you have that too. This is attunement. You guys have an hour. Attunement just happens in fifth edition. What I, about the rose? Is anyone wearing the ring? I'd wear the ring. What was the ring? the ring? Yeah, I have the ring. I was gonna get it. I was gonna put it on, and if anything bad happens, fuck me. The ring is not magical. The okay, then I just have some stylish jewelry. Rare, I mean, you, know, you all could have waited until I uh, could safely identify it, but I guess just putting it all on and attuning to it works, too. Man, Griff is a real sassy bitch today, isn't he? Oh, Rare. absolutely. Rare, did you put on the gold necklace? Isidore is a sassy snake. Um, yeah, I had the gold necklace on. Uh, the necklace is not magical. Okay, so... Okay. But you do look the, fabulous. At some point during the, uh... At some point during the, uh, rest, I want to return the plus one mace that he lent to us, turtle mace, to the, uh, giant. Okay. He thanks you. And he gives his condolences for the loss of a friend and a colleague. He was not my friend, but I wish he would have been at some point. That just made it weird, but whatever. Well, it's like we had like our problems. I just I wish didn't we... like that asshole. I was just like the idea is that we had our differences <clears throat> fade away. Did not have the time to do so. That was more his problem. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Anything else y'all want to do, check, etc.? I'm well, thinking, should we bury, should we uh, make a grave for Turtle here, or should we wait till we get back to the village? You've got nothing to bury. We have His a shield. shield. We're going to uh, memorialize the shield. In the really point in the town's graveyard. I was going to hold on to the shield. Well, I'm, all right, then what we'll do is we'll memorialize it by, uh, what do you call it? Pissing on it. Engraving an it. Empty grave. With a we'll engrave his name and his day, his uh, date of death. I mean, I got these robes. I'm not sure if they're magical or not. I like how we're we're trying to like bless off one of the skeletons. <laughs> Which one? I think it was the lady skeleton. No, no, I'm saying. Oh, okay, that one. I'm just saying, because one of you has the ghast robes and the other I one has... I have the ghast robes on. The ghast robes are not magical. <laughs> just really expensive. I right, let's fold them back up and put them in the blue pile. Uh, the ladies' robes. You know that they are magical. Uh, attunement. Uh, let's see here. You have advantage on a hide che hide checks. You have advantage on uh, stealth checks. Did I give you that? 
and you can uh, cast the spell Disguise Self at will. Well, improved Cloak of Elenkind. Although, um, creatures that are acquainted and friendly with you will see you as normal. So, okay. Disguise Self with limitations. Is that a body slot item or a back item? What? Don't items take up slots? Yeah, but you you have three you have three attunement slots. You don't have three item. You're, well, you're talking like an MMO terms. That's just weird. It's throwing me off. Well, I'm talking about Pathfinder. Pathfinder three point five fourth edition. I mean, you have logical slots. You don't have like body slots. This isn't an MMO. Like, well, like, I mean, you probably still can't wear three magical shirts at once. I mean, maybe really you hot. can. Yeah, well, that would just be a heat thing. We'd have an argument <laughs> then. We'd have an argument then if you were, like, in the desert. This is, like, dark sun. I'd be like, oh, you're fucked now. <laughs> yes, you can wear three shirts. I can do that right now on camera if I so want it. Do it. Do these have a name? Do it now. We need this bonus footage. Nope, Rack just a uh, magical robe. Bonus footage. Put on three shirts. I'm just saying. It's something you can do. Literally, like, the argument that you can only wear ten rings is stupid, too, because I can still put two rings on one hand if I want. I mean, on one finger. I can put two rings on one finger if I wanted. So, like, if you start running out of room on your fingers, you have a per in your mail, you have a perfectly fine schlong. <laughs> the argument, though, is that you can only have three attunement items. That's the limiter. Since attunement items tend to be stronger than lesser magic items. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I could use the rope for the stealth bonus if no one uses it. Would you consider a ring being worn around your neck on a chain to be... Uh... No, I don't think that would work. What do you think, Theta? Cure? No, because I mean, that's the, the property is being connected directly to you, and that's what you're arguing is... Something connected to me is then connected to me, in which case you get to the bullshit of like, okay, well, I put the magic item on a rope, and I just keep the ropes tied around me. Like, no, no, no. Okay. I build a metallic cage of which I put rings through each of the iron bars, allowing me to have infinite power. I call it my Faraday magic ring. If I put, a, if I put, I put a, 17 rings of protection on this metal bar, and then I wield it like a sword. If you put magical items on, like, animals and shit, do the animals get the magical items effect? You know what, this is a short rest. This isn't, like, a, like this isn't a whole breakdown of the D&D flaws and everything. What uh, do you what guys do after your short rest? I head back down. head back down. If we had a campfire, I'd put it out. All right. Well, you guys are still on that map, so you're back down. <laughs> Whoa! Be sure, John. To, you want the robes? Be sure I mean, to write down right. all your short rest benefits and everything. Who's super stealthy, cool guy? I I'm pretty stealthy. I don't, I don't have to... skill on stealth, but I got plus three on stealth. I'm skilled in plus three. Yeah, you can have the robes. I don't. Yeah, I, so I can take it. Armor, so it's good. I have a two stealth. Yeah. Let's give him to the monk. Monk can use the robes. Weird. Monk is now stealth robes. man. Is this a door here? No. Doors are blue. blue. Oh, Woo's. I sorry. Woo's box was going over the wall. It made it look like there was a door there. Okay, we well, got how one do you way feel to go. About this guy staring at your box. <laughs> uh, you guys want to go down this weird corridor to the right? That is the only way we can go. Let's go. No, Follow you guys. Oh, well, this looks like a perilous chasm. Yeah, what the fuck is. Oh, shit, guys, be careful. There might be those bloodsuckers down there. Blood uh, there's quite enough blood for them to live down here. You see a very deep and. Well, I mean. Your, dark, your light that you guys have or cast, see, you can't really see the bottom of it. But, uh. You can see the sound of running water coming from the depths below. And, uh, of course, you can also see to the other side, those of you that have vision that goes that far. I can kind it of looks like something ripped across the ground here. and looks like the, uh, 
the tunnels continue on ahead, although it is the distance shown. Too bad. It's not it's like the ladder was just a little longer. You know, we could like throw it. We could like go across it. Uh, does anybody? You have a spare torch, right? Yes. Here, uh, light it up and throw it in the chasm. See how far it goes now. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, so it's like I think every second it's ten feet. I think I'm not sure. Well, falling is about instantaneous in D and D. One no, moment I mean, you're on, falling is like uh, Looney Tunes. One moment you're hanging in the air, and the next second you're on the bottom. Oh, so, so it's we can't actually use logic to figure out how. No, you can't use logic, but you can use DM information. You throw in the uh, the torch, and it seems to fall about sixty feet before being extinguished in a uh, what looks to be some sort of underground river. I don't think we should jump into the river. Can we cross? Well, we could always climb down and then climb up on the other side. Of if we course. have rope, we could even set up, uh, set them up on either end. Well, 60 feet, we'd be able to just see down there as, like, dark vision. Uh, That's a very good point. I mean, I'm just trying to, you know, see scan for monsters and shit. Do you guys want to do perception checks? Sure. I mean, the guys with dark vision can just look. I don't see anything. No, oh, there might be shit hiding down there is what I'm trying to say. No, I there's definitely nothing. Anyone else want to take a look? Uh, I think I'm the last one with dark vision, so... I'll try. Go. And then I, I had dark vision as well. What are you guys looking for again? Monsters. I was just looking down to the river. See if anything's moving. The water is. By definition. Is the uh, river or like wide? Like there's no... Round at all? Doesn't appear to be. So, we, what do you guys want to do? I say we should, we could try and cross with ropes, but don't know. You want to try it? I, I don't know. It's like, uh, oh, this is like really like. Eh. This would be a perfect opportunity to be level two. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, let's see. Uh, I mean, we got rope, but is there anything to it, like... So, 60-foot drop. So, how much rope we have? I have rope. Okay, I think so... everybody has rope. So. so we could tie two ropes together and get down to the bottom. Yeah, but I don't think it's going to take forever to climb up the other side. Well, what's the hurry? There's nothing else to explore. Oh, there is an um, um, upward path that we missed. Oh, Did to we? me, it just looks like a wall. I checked Hold it. Hold on. Uh, do you want to, somebody want to come with me so I don't get ambushed if I go? Path, so we can show you the other path. Isidore comes with because he's a good person. I'll still come with you. See, uh, oh, that see. is a wall. Yeah, it very much is. But is it? A wall. Let's look at the wall and investigate. I mean, it is a bit strange. I'll investigate it for you. Isidore will go up against this wall. All right, I'll help you. Look around it. it and try to find switches, secret passages, interesting things. Isidore rolls his face against the wall. Determines yep. that it is in fact a wall. It is in fact a wall. All right. Well, I guess yeah, you're right. That is the only way out. I think. Yeah, since we didn't find the cube. But All right. Was... Well, uh. Geez. I can climb down if you wanna. Give me rope. It's too bad my monk's not here. He literally has flying speed. <laughs> oh, she. Is he I a mean, bird? <laughs> yeah, it's an Aarakocca. Yeah. Floof, the Aarakocca monk. Sailor. Yeah, if I was level 2, I could 
Well, I couldn't actually, but I could try. Also, oh, three cheers at me! <laughs> so, actually, really how much rope do we have? Yeah, that is a good point. Usually, packs contain roughly 50 feet, if I'm correct. Yeah. We'll need a lot of rope. Well, no, it's a 60 foot drop, so. Ah, uh, 60 feet. Yeah, so but 10. we then have to go across, climb up. And then we're going to have the rope to go across as well. Unless we I mean, want to use the same rope. You know, the thing is, is that, like, if there's some prop up the ladder, we could cross across the chasm using the ladder. It's only 25 feet long, the ladder. That sounds incredibly dangerous. I know, right? Yeah. I mean, we could always begin a several-year suspension bridge plan if you want. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. I mean, he's not in a hurry at all to get this, is he? Anyone uh, does anybody have kittens? a grappling hook? Yeah, or pittons. Nope. Or, yeah, pittons. We could use pittons. Those are, uh, yeah, I think, in explorer's packs? No, they're in the dungeon news pack. Oh, oh here in the dungeon. Does anybody got a dungeon pack? Yes. Good. All right, great. I think your pack also comes with extra rope compared to the normals. No, all of them have 50. Okay. So we have plenty of rope. And the chasm 